Good morning, everyone. Today we're gonna to be getting ready together, but this is gonna to be totally different. Not only am I going to be doing it all in natural daylight, but I thought rather than staying inside on this beautiful Southern California day, I'm gonna take you outside with me to my patio, sit by my fountain with my tray of makeup, and we're gonna just have fun getting ready together. Now, because I'm gonna be sitting by my fountain, the fountain is actually quite large, so as soon as I go outside, I'm gonna do a voiceover for the makeup portion because otherwise you wouldn't be able to hear me speak. But I still am gonna keep the fountain noise in the background just at a reduced volume. So I hope that you enjoy this. So now let's go ahead and head outside. To start off today, I'm using the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in 003 Moon. I love the feel of these glosses, really nice and hydrating. Next, I'm adding the Milani Eyeshadow Primer, and I use this all along the upper lash line all the way up to the brow and blend it in. And next, I'm using a primer that also has an SPF in it. I've only used this a couple times, but this is the Milani SPF BFF. It's a combination of SPF 30 and a primer, and I have to say it actually worked quite well for me today. The eyeshadow palette I chose to use is the e.l.f. New Classics palette. This is one I haven't used in a while, but it's a great all-in-one palette. I'm using the Real Techniques Concealer Brush and putting the shade Cream all under the brow bone and blend it down just to the top of the crease. And then I'm gonna use several other Real Techniques brushes. This is one of them that came in a full set, so I'll try to find that set below. But I'm using this brush to put the shade Charmer. This is kind of a mid-tone, cool rose shade very pigmented. You can see my reaction. I forgot how pigmented these shadows are. This brush was a little bit too flimsy for me, but I did end up getting it to work just fine. But that's why it's taking me a little extra time to blend out that shade. And then I'm going to use a little bit of cream just to further soften the edge of that shadow since I got a little more pigmentation than I had planned on in that initial swatch there in the crease. Next, I'm going in with the shade above it, which is Truffle. Because I wanted a little more warmth in this look, I thought I would add a little bit of that camel shade. Now, I went ahead and was experimenting on my right eye, so this is what I did. I used the shade Glamour, and I first put it on with my finger. You can see my sweet little puppy there in the background. <laughs> I placed this all over my lid, just really packed it on dry. Then I used the Maybelline Fix It Setting Spray and used this small brush that also comes in that set from Real Techniques. Used more of that shadow and you can see it really just enhances the shine and sheen of that shadow. And then while that is still damp, I put a little more of that shadow on my finger. So these shimmer shades in here, if you want a really nice bright metallic finish, you are gonna need to use them wet. For liner, I am using the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pin in the shade Black Cocoa. You can see this is a well-loved liner for me. I'm using this all across the upper lash line, really just working little dashes into the roots of the lashes. And then I'm gonna go in with this tiny little Real Techniques smudge brush, which I've really been enjoying. It reminds me a little bit of the BK Beauty 204 brush. And I'm using that to just blend out the liner before going in with shadow. I'm using the shade Muse, which is a pretty dark brown. If you wanted a little extra depth, you could add some of the black shade next to it. But I felt like this added enough depth and deepened the outer corner and the lash line enough for me. So just really worked that along, checked out the dog, made sure he was doing what he's supposed to be doing and then further blended that up into the outer corner just a little bit 
and then went back with that blending brush, the crease brush, and made sure that shade was blended thoroughly. On the lower lash line, I'm using the Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen in the shade Bronze Beam. This is a really pretty shimmery bronze shade, so I just smudged that about halfway across into the roots of the lashes. And then I decided we needed more shimmer. So this is the J-Cat Beauty Glitter Dazzle Eye Topper, and this is the shade Twinkle Twinkle. And these are just so fun, and what I really appreciate is these are specifically formulated to be safe for use on the eyes. Really important when using any eyeshadow, but especially shimmer or glitter. So I applied it dry. I didn't have any fallout from this, but I decided I wanted a little more shine to come through. So I wet my brush with that setting spray and went over the top of it. And I really felt like this was what this eye look was missing. So you know me, I love that extra little bit of shimmer. So now it's time to clean up under the eyes. I'm using the Now Solutions Almond Oil and a Q-tip just to remove any fallout. For foundation, I'm using just the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator and this little mini version of the Real Techniques Foundation Brush. This was a special edition, but I do believe they still sell this in the full size. So I really enjoy this Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. It has, I feel like, light to medium coverage. There is no SPF, so that's why I used that primer first. But it is one of the few tinted moisturizers that actually will stay on, not break down on my combination skin. It does provide a good amount of hydration and glow, but it's not greasy. It does have some really good ingredients in it. So I really enjoyed it and it was a great Saturday foundation for me this day. And then I'm going in with the J-Cat Beauty Stay Sealer and covering up all my spots and my dark circles. And then I'm using the Real Techniques Instapop brush. And this concealer is pretty good. It's probably my favorite from the drugstore right now, but you'll see in a moment that I feel like I really needed a color corrector because the concealer on its own wasn't quite enough to hide my dark circles. So I do go back in a moment and add just a touch more, but the shade on this also is a little bit light. The shade I used was buff. But before we do that, I'm gonna add a little bit of contour. This is the Kiko Milano Sculpting Touch Creamy Stick Con Contour, and this is the darker of the two shades, 201, or I believe it's Hazelnut. I'll put the color down in the description box. I'm using the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush to blend that in. This is a really wonderful cream contour product. I really do love it. And then here we go, just adding a little bit more concealer into the inner corners of the eyes. And I do feel like this does look a little bit dry throughout the day, so that's just something to be aware of, but it's really inexpensive. And I do feel like it is one of the better ones still from the drugstore. Now, I used this e.l.f. setting powder. It's a banana powder. I'm not sure if it's still available. I've had this in my drawer for a while. But using the Real Techniques setting brush, I just dusted a little bit of that under the eyes. And I do feel like this concealer works a little better when I use my Charlotte Tilbury setting powder, but of course, that's not drugstore. So <laughs> to set the rest of my face, I'm using the Kiko Milano Dolce Diva Fresh Feel setting powder. I love this. And I do feel like that is the perfect mix combination that I need with that tinted hydrator to help this uh, foundation last through the day. And then for my bronzer, you saw this in my Instant Loves. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer. And I'm using the Echo Tools Full Powder Brush. This is a fantastic brush from the drugstore. Super soft and you can see it makes quick work of adding a little bronzer but it also works for blush. So this is the e.l.f. Blush and Highlighter Duo. This is Watermelon. I love this blush and highlighter. They're both so pretty. It's just a really nice, soft, warm pink shade. And I'm using the Real Techniques Setting Brush to add a little bit of that highlighter. 
When I first got this duo, I thought that highlighter shade was gonna be way too dark for me. And actually, it is probably one of the most brightening highlighters of all of the e.l.f. duos. And this duo, I think, is actually my favorite. Now, I'm just taking a little bit of that highlighter and putting it on the inner corners of my eyes. You could definitely go back to the palette and use the shade Blanc, but I decided I wanted to just tie in that highlighter shade. And then after adding the bronzer to my face, I felt like I needed a little bit of warmth through the crease, just a little better blend. So I'm using the shade Darling and the Morphe M504 to bring that through the top of the crease and then using a little bit more cream along the brow just to make sure everything's blended and looking lifted. Now for brows, I have gone back to loving the NYX Precision Brow Pencil. This is a pretty quick fill-in for me and this shade taupe. It works well for my hair color right now, so it's kind of hard to tell at this angle what I'm doing, but I go below the brow and then above the brow, especially to kind of enhance my arch, and then I fill in a little bit there at the front and then use the spoolie to soften it. Now for brow pomade or brow gel, I'm using this one from NYX. It is the Thicket Slick It, and yes, it's pretty thick. So. I feel like this brush is a little too big and the product, it's pretty gloppy. I've seen apparently this is an internet sensation. It's not my favorite. It's really easy to get out of control quick. So I really think I prefer the e.l.f. brow gel instead. For mascara combination, I'm using this new vegan collagen primer from Pacifica and I'm pairing it with the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I've used the Essence Mascara before, but I had never used this Pacifica primer, and I've used it for several days, and I, so far, I'm pretty impressed. I haven't obviously been able to test the ability to add more lashes or how it conditions the lashes, but I do feel like it added a little bit of extra volume to the lashes so that when I went in with mascara, it did help provide that extra bit of volume. This Lash Princess Mascara, it's not my favorite, but I know a lot of people love it and compare it to the It Cosmetics Superhero. I don't feel like it's as volumizing as that one is for me. And I did use this on my lower lashes, but I did get lots of smudging. So it's not a smudge proof mascara for me, but it is an inexpensive one from the drugstore. For lip liner, I'm using this new one from e.l.f. It's called the Love Triangle Lip Filler Liner in Soft Pink. This is a really nice kind of mid-tone warm pink shade and I'm pairing it with this Milani lipstick. This is the shade 110 Lustful. It's a pretty bright corally shade and this is the Shine formulation. They also have a matte formula, but the Shine one is quite emollient, so I did tap off the excess on a tissue, and then I'm going in with the J-Cat Eternal Shine Lip Glaze in Papaya Whip, and these are really nice. They're not sticky, but yet I feel like they last a while, and this just helped tone down that lipstick color. I went and fixed my hair, put in jewelry, and then I decided I needed one final finishing touch, and that is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Liner. I'm putting this on my inner rim of my upper lashes because I wanted a little extra thickness that I felt like I was missing from that mascara. So I'm just putting this right in between the lashes and a little bit on the inner rim, and it just helped finish out the look. And now here is our finished makeup. And I love that extra shine on the lid. And then my outfit today is this cardigan with a sleeveless blouse. And I've got my peep toe booties on and I was all ready to head off to the store and run some errands. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you as always so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.